Welcome back to Couchbase Connect. My name is Dave Vellante, and we're going to dig into a customer case study of sorts with two software engineers from a company called Trendyall, the largest e-commerce platform in Turkey. And with me are Fateh Yilmaz and Emre Tanriverdi, both software engineers at Trendyall. Welcome. Good to see you guys. Hello. Hello. Hey, before we get into the story, uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about Trendyall. Let me answer that question first. Um, Trendyol uh, today is um, 10 years old, uh, actually. Uh, it starts with an um, e-commerce company, uh, uh, especially um, for clothing. Uh, today, uh, it serves several um, uh, services, uh, mainly still e-commerce. Right. Uh, we uh, we do our business uh, mainly on technology, and we even have a saying: technology uh, technology is our uh, main uh, concern. Actually, um, just like that. Actually, uh, yeah. for now. So about so. Thank you for that. I mean, it, it, you started. I think. I think the company was founded in, in 2009, 2010. So you, yes. were, you were just, you know, kind of, you, which we would consider the, sort of the modern era at the same time, when you look back 10 years, you know, sort of major challenges, you know, major advancements to, from a technology standpoint. So you, at, you, at the time you had a, 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 a legacy uh, database and you, you had to migrate. Maybe you could describe the business conditions that drove you to think about actually making a change? What was the before and, and then we can get into the after and, and what was driving that change? Um, maybe I could uh, start it uh, a bit. Well, uh, we have a recommendation domain in Trendio. It's like when you, when you look at a certain product, like for example, you look at a pencil, it, it's recommending you uh, an eraser. Uh, if you are going to buy a pink dress, it's going to recommend you a yellow dress. So if you are going to maybe buy pants, it will show you some t-shirts according to it. So uh, since the recommendations domain grew larger, uh, we, we have struggled uh, to keep it high scale. And uh, it was on a relational DB at first, but as even as, as product count increased and uh, our write frequency increased day by day, uh, and our read performance was affected very dramatically, uh, I believe, yeah. So you were using a traditional RDBMS, uh, and then and and the issue was, you what you couldn't make the recommendations fast enough, and you know we always say what's real time. Real time is before you lose the customer. So you you have to make those recommendations in time for the customer to act. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you know what do you do? Send an email after the fact. Hey, you bought this. Nobody's going to pay attention to that, right? You want to catch them in the moment. Um, and so, so what was it that that led you to to Couchbase? And, and, and what was the experience of, of that? You know, whether it was onboarding, you know, the technology, you know, how difficult was it to get up and running to where you are today? Um, uh, we were using Couchbase in, uh, in Trendyol um, for several years, and uh, we had experience on that. Uh, and uh, we, actually we need performance as uh, Emre uh, described. So uh, we convert our uh, data structure to from relational DB to um, NoSQL DB. Uh, the actually on our uh, uh, recommendation uh, platform, the main problem was uh, invalidation process. You know, uh, we are selling things and. Um, in seconds, they can be sold out, and we we shouldn't be recommend them anymore. And we are we are keeping track of uh, this by invalidation process, and uh, with relational DB writing those data to our relational DB was uh, hard, was taking too too many too much time, and uh, by changing this structure to uh, couch ways we. We we see that benefits uh, and it takes so so uh, 
uh, short time, actually. Yeah, so, sorry, if, if I can just clarify. The, what was taking a long time? The, the updating the actual records so that you could actually inform a customer that it was out of stock, or was it the coding that was too complicated? Or no, it, it, was, it was not the coding. Um, there are millions of uh, products in Trendyol, and uh, those invalidations are coming huge, actually. So we are keeping track of them if it's sold out or it's it can be sellable. Uh, when when a product uh, detail is seen by the customer, we are recommending some other products too, but those other products must be sellable too. So the, ma the main problem was that, and uh, we are writing them in our relational DB, there is a huge write load actually. So it was not coding, it was the amount of data actually. Okay, so it was the update intensity um, within the yes, database yes. And, and the ability of the database to actually return accurate results quickly. So what was the after like? Can you talk about sort of the, the business impact? What were the, the improvements that you experienced? Yeah, maybe I can answer that. Uh, like Fatih said, uh, the main reason we switched uh, is because that uh, there are so many products coming new in Trendyol, and uh, many of them are being stock, uh, being sold out. And the the updates to it it was on a relational DB, and the rights were too much that we couldn't uh, give our customers a fast reply because the database was getting affected by the amount of high rights because. When you think about it, there are millions of products coming and there are millions of uh, write uh, operations on the database. So it, it was also affecting the read performance. So uh, it, it could occur to you that when you click on a product, you would see maybe a stock out product as a recommendation or maybe a product that is not in the website anymore. So uh, when we switched to uh, Couchbase, that, uh, we, we saw that uh, it's using re less resource with uh, using less pods active alive and it's also uh, giving responses faster. The main reason uh, we were using relational DB at first was the invalidation process, like what he said, because it was we had a consumer that was listening to messages, uh, the invalidation messages and then uh, and then writing them into database. But uh, in the in couch based part, uh, it meant that actively writing to database that for every product document that you would need to uh, update the document. But for, uh, for, for, uh, for relational DB, it would be we thought easier to just make this product uh, available false or true. So that's why we were sticking with relational DB at first. And we, that's why we made it at first as relational DB. But as time increased and our product count and our, our sellers increased, we realized that uh, we should find another solution to the invalidation process and we should uh, switch because, uh, I mean, it, ca it, had come, it had come to a point at one point that it would just maybe uh, take uh, lo so, so much time that uh, we were scaling our consumers at night time to just not affect daily users anymore. Uh, so that's what, that's the main reason we switched. And uh, after switching, we, we had improvements in, uh, like I said, response time and high write throughput. And also one of the reasons is also because that the uh, replication abilities of Couchbase, because uh, since Trendyol is growing larger, there are many data centers and uh, like we can see that every day, sometimes we deploy our uh, apps to yet another cluster. And we, that, that's why we sometimes need to have backups or different data centers. And uh, Couchbase was providing very good relation, uh, very good solutions to this, which is XTTR. Yeah, that's, that, that's why we switched actually, to be honest. So is Couchbase running it's, if I understand it, it's running the recommendation engine, and do you still use a traditional RDBMS for the transaction system, or is, is Couchbase doing both? Uh, yeah, Vati had better add. So, sorry, you could go. Okay, uh, we are uh, actually in Trendyol, we are in Discovery uh, team, actually, we call it Tribe. And in Discovery Tribe, uh, relational DB, I think. Uh, now uh, very small 
uh, small uh, teams are using it. Um, uh, its percentage is very low, actually. Uh, but uh, other other tribes, for example, orders, checkouts, um, maybe uh, pro uh, promotions, uh, something like other teams uh, are uh, still using RDBMS. But in discovery team, uh, it's very important to serve customers very fast. We need to show them products immediately. We need to personalize them. Uh, we sh we should uh, show them. Uh, related products in in meantime in real time actually so in discovery tribe we are um, barely using it uh, rdbms systems actually how hard was it to migrate from the rdbms because you hear a lot of stories about how difficult that is to do you've got to freeze the code you're bringing up new code you've got to synchronize the functionality how did you manage that well, uh, to be honest, we just asked the data science team to just send the products. Uh, at the same time, we were like, we were keeping the legacy API open that the, the clients were still coming there. And um, to be honest, there were lots of lags on that queue. So uh, even if uh, the, the newer products came a bit later, uh, it shouldn't be seen because it was already coming late. So uh, we had uh, so we made a new API that is connecting to Couchbase, and we wanted the data science team to start feeding it, but we asked the clients to switch it by time. I mean, we were still supporting the old one, but uh, when we when we asked the clients to switch to the new API, we just closed the uh, last one. So we didn't really migrate any data, to be honest. Like we, we it was from scratch, and since it's a, it's a recommendation domain. Uh, we believe it's better to uh, add data from scratch because in our new domains, if we are uh, storing them in documents, they are always sending a new list to us. So that's how it gets updated all the time. Uh, so it's, since it's not a user-related data, it, it wasn't really like a migration process. It, is this is part of the secret sauce that you're doing schema-less, no schema on write to Couchbase? And, and is that correct? And how are you... Handling it, like how are you getting that awesome write performance? Well, the the main reason we believe is that uh, before when it was relational DB, like for example, one product to one product, and uh, second product to first product, third product to first product, like you were duplicating the records, so that when a product gets removed. Uh, from uh, from a product's recommendation, or maybe one of if a product is getting invisible for any reason, it should be removed, or maybe it it could be a uh, stock out. That it mean it meant that for every record you are sending a record for invalidation. But with in our new system, it means that this uh, for this content there are twenty four contents, let's say, and like four of them got finished. It's not, it, it's okay. You are just replacing the whole list so that you are not duplicating the records. I mean, it's, it's not like first product to first and first to second and first to third. And if first changes, you are duplicating this, this change three times, like uh, delete uh, product one from three, delete product one from uh, two, right? We were duplicating the deletion record, but now we are just replacing the list. So you are doing that all of the operation in one 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 uh, Kafka queue message. If if I should be able, if I was able to uh, tell about it. Uh, so, sorry, it's it's a bit hard to explain it in uh, in speech. But uh, we have a nice graphic that's uh, showing how we are doing it now. That makes sense. Okay, thank you for that. And so, as you think about your modernizing your application infrastructure, where are you at, at today? How do you see this modernization effort going forward? Actually, um, today uh, we are uh, mainly looking for uh, cross-cluster replication. Uh, all, all our products are uh, cr uh, deployed uh, different clusters and different ge geographical uh, locations. Uh, we we always uh, using. Uh, we try to always use um, modern products and uh, 
uh, try to avoid uh, old relational databases, especially for our discovery tribe. And uh, by modernize, modernizing it, um, our uh, engineers keeping up to date with recent technologies and uh, our customers are happier. They are not seeing some glitches, some uh, weights uh, while they're using our products. Okay, so maybe I could double click on that because so, you mentioned the impact of customers and, and, and I'm interested in your organizational impact and what it means mm -hmm. for you internally. But, but when you talk about cross cluster re replication, is that to scale? Uh, is that a performance impact? Is that for availability? What's the impact of, of that effort, that modernization effort? Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I believe it's it's all. Uh, the main reason is availability, I believe. Uh, like, we can't know when a cluster can go down. Uh, we can't be sure about it. Uh, in, a, in any system we can't, but a trend wheel should be up and running all the time. And uh, there should be some uh, some backups that, uh, that can switch when a cluster goes down. But also the main reason, uh, one of the main reasons is to be able to scale because uh, the, the, the clusters that we had wasn't enough uh, considering our user base. We, so uh, let's say you, you want to even extend your user base, but uh, like the cluster is being a bottleneck to you because you can't get that much users. But uh, when you do cross cluster that you have backup and you have scalability and it's, uh, Considering how new, considering if the machines are newer, maybe faster response times. I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, network part would know that better. But uh, yeah, all of them, I believe. Great guys. Well, thank you so much for sharing uh, your story, uh, uh, Emre and, and Fatih. Uh, appreciate you guys coming on the cube. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you for uh, hosting us. Yeah, it's our pleasure, and thank you for watching Couchbase Connect online on theCUBE. Keep it right there for more great content from the event.